the holder of the Seeker's death. Wouldn't call me a religious man, clawing my way over fiend and man alike, killing, stealing, shutting out all else to gather them. Yeah, no, not a religious man at all. Cause then it happened. And by it, I mean the kind of it that makes babies cry and birds stop chirping and even a holder shits himself and slinks into an even deeper pit of hell. You see, I was a goddamned badass before all of this, right? Holder of the Nibelung, thanks for the sword. Holder of guilt, thanks for the, um, stake, you know? Tons of them, right? I mean, shit, probably dozens. I never kept count. I did it for the fucking rush. I didn't even give half a damn if reality would be plunged into an eternal waking nightmare when I was done, or not. Catch my drift. But no, that couldn't just keep on happening. I had just gotten done getting these bitchin' castanets, right? I started wandering back home, and I think I was near a church, or some bullshit. Not too sure, but out of nowhere, my heart fucking stops. I mean, dead stops, as in, I probably had about fifteen seconds left of life. My head feels like it's gonna split, and these trumpets sound. Now, say what you want, but fuck those trumpets. Even thinking about them now makes me want to just smile and fall flat to my face and worship something. They were too damned goodly. For about half a second, that is, before blood started gushing out of my ears. And nose, and eyes, and mouth, and everywhere else I had an opening. Yeah, not a fun experience. Then it was there. I guess I should call it a hymn. Cause of the fact that it had a man's voice. I don't know. It just hovered there, my eyes dripping with blood, barely able to see it, just fucking floating like some arrogant asshole in a beam of light, with, I assume, trumpets of goodness blaring in the background, while I'm here fucking dying. A long moment passed, and my senses, as well as my pulse, returned. I managed to cough up at least enough blood to fill a kitchen sink, not to mention what was coming out elsewhere, I felt light-headed. Then I got my first real look at it. It was about twenty feet tall, and it looked like a grandfather clock and an ank had a kid. Thing was just twenty solid feet of a cross-shaped whirl of gears, ranging in size from larger than a car, down to the size of an eyelash. None quite touching another one, but all spinning, varying speeds, and emitting this unearthly hum. Not bad unearthly, though. Needless to say, I'm flat on my ass at this point, and all I can think to do is scream at it, and my hand grabs the balmung, or whatever you fuckers call it. Goddamn sharp sword is what I called it. I managed to stagger to my feet and keep screaming, asking this fucking thing what the hell it thinks it is, just almost killing me, then floating at me without doing shit. Then it spoke to me. I heard its thoughts, really, or felt what it wanted me to feel and see. The things I saw there, I would gladly jump into one of those pits that you aren't supposed to jump into, or say the wrong words at the wrong time to a holder's face, then see those sights again. But at the same time, I thought I was going to cream myself. It's like getting hit by a ton of razor-sharp bricks, and getting a mouthful of ambrosia at the same time. Fucking unnerving. I'm getting off topic. You presume much, and you know little. The burdens you gather are but trinkets, and greater services 
have commandeered your loyalty. So, I'm sitting here shitting creamed bricks, wondering what the fuck that meant, and I finally say, Fuck you. And slash my sword out at this thing's torso. Or, um, big gear, or whatever. It was in the middle, and it was the biggest part. Next second, I'm lying flat on my ass. My hand is gone, like from halfway through my forearm up. And this thing is not only unscratched, but it's shining brighter than it was. Gabriel, sent by the Alpha and the Omega. Be enlightened, human. The horrors you have faced before are to me as naught but ants to an armored soldier. Wielding a hafted spear and leather boots. Looking at this thing, I couldn't really disagree. I mean, even the fucking scariest holder, even them I could just push past it, could man it up and just get through. But this thing, no way, not a chance. We just stood there, then, for a while, and it didn't say anything else. But I began sorting through what it had said, and, well, yeah, when divine revelation hits you, you don't ignore it. Dig? So yeah, then and there, on the spot, I knew what was up, and after a few more words from it, which I'm gonna keep between me and that fucking thing, I understood my mission fully. And then this big-ass stupid grin just sort of crept over my face. Right. It gave me my arm back. And a few other things, too, really. I'd always been pretty quick and strong, but now, man. Anyways, let me tell you about this mission, cause it was a fucking bitchin' mission. Only catch was, I had to give up all the shit I'd gotten. No biggie, though. They all went back to their holder, and everything's set up just fine to go again. Or something. Grandfather Clock Angel thing was a bit less than specific on that point. But man, this mission kicks ass. You know what's even more horrifying than a holder? More dangerous and, by far, more unpredictable. Man, it's you fucking seekers. Dig it, man. That's it. Give me my very own sword, made out of its body. Hand guard is a spinning gear, and it sorta of looks like an overlong katana. Shit is bitchin'. And told me that the path to attempt to gather the objects is both foolish and ultimately futile. He wasn't too clear as to what he meant by futile, really. But I got what he meant by foolish, and I liked it. Yeah, slicing all you overzealous motherfuckers up in God's name. Apparently, whoever I kill with this sharp-ass son of a bitch goes directly to him for judgment. Just does it for me. On an interesting side note, I've made it a point to just cruise all around the world and chill in all the local mental institutions. And halfway houses. The sword is object 567. If you wield it, you will be compelled to continue its mission as the new holder.